if you're buying or renovating a house, it'll help you to get familiar with the most common types of electrical switches. In front of me, I have a single pole, a double pole, a three-way, a four-way, and a smart switch. The single pole switch is the workhorse of these switches. You see it has these off and on markings on the toggle. That's a key characteristic of this switch. It also has two brass screw terminals. This is where you connect the hot or power source wires. One wire comes in from the power source, the other goes out to the fixture. And remember, those wires are usually black. Also good to know, this switch doesn't connect to a neutral. Single pole switches are super common all over houses. They're used to control lights, receptacles, devices from a single location. The double pole switch, like the single pole switch, has the off and on on the toggle and is also used to control a device from a single location. But it's not too common in households. These are typically rated for 30 amps as opposed to the 15 or 20 that household switches are rated for. And it's got four brass screw terminals plus a ground. That extra juice is used in industrial applications to power motors and machinery. Three-way switches have no on-off on the switch and they have three screw terminals. The hot wire comes in from the power source to the terminal marked COM for common or the darker screw terminal. The other two terminals are travelers and they're interchangeable and it's important to remember that these two are also hot. Three-way switches are commonly used in pairs to control a light from two locations and they're found in hallways, at the top and bottom of stairs, in basements and garages with two entries. On to the four-way switch. It looks a lot like a double pole switch, but it has no on-off markings on the toggle. It has four terminals plus a ground, and those terminals are usually brass colored. And it functions as a switching device for the traveler wires of the three-way switch. It's used in extra long hallways, really large rooms with more than two entries, or anywhere where you might want to control a device from multiple locations. Last one. We cannot talk about switches without talking about smart switches. They're becoming so popular. Smartphone switches are switches you can control with your smartphone. Pretty handy, right? One thing you need to know about these switches is that most require a neutral connection, something these other standard switches don't need. Smart switches require a neutral wire because they need a little bit of power at all times in order to stay connected to your Wi-Fi so that you can control them from your device. Because standard switches don't require a neutral, you'll most likely have to hire an electrician to run a new cable to add a neutral. Some smart switches don't require a neutral, but they usually connect to the internet through a hub. If you want to buy one of these switches, make sure you get one that is compatible with both your hub and the lights you want to control. Smart switches are super convenient because they allow you to control devices from anywhere in your home, even from bed. In the grand scheme of things, switches may seem small, but understanding how they work can help you customize your home in big ways that will impact you every day.